All right, everybody give it up for the most persistent game of all time. <laughs> DC Universe Online. I, I can't believe it's 2024 and we're still getting new ports of DC Universe Online. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm always rooting for my comic book games, but I, I guess it's just kind of surprising. I, I'm not sure if, if the community for this game is, you know, healthy, active, and you know, has a decent number of players, but hey, I mean, you love to see it, uh, DC Universe Online in 2024. Um, I don't know why I never gotten, like, super into this game. On paper, it's pretty much my dream game. I mean, an, an MMO where you can create your own original character and, um, you know, customize your powers, your costume... And, and exist in the great DC universe where you get to interact with, you know, the iconic superheroes and, and get quests from them and level up your guy, get new gear, go on raids and fight big bosses with other players. I mean, it just sounds awesome on paper. I don't know why I've never gotten super into it. Um, I mean, I guess I've never really been uh, big into MMOs, you know, especially back in the day. Um where, you know, combat is not, like, real-time, it's not action-y, th th that's kind of my speed. Although, I, I, if I remember correctly, I think one of the main selling points of uh, DC Universe Online is that it was going to be one of the first, I don't know if that's true or not, uh, the first or one of the first uh, MMOs to have more action-oriented combat, you know, try to, to mimic... Uh, a more traditional action game because it was uh, coming out on it did come out on PlayStation 3 so you know it made sense to make it more of a console experience as opposed to like a traditional uh, click cooldown combat kind of like World of Warcraft and, and you know a more traditional MMO but yeah I don't know it, it just kind of never clicked with me I mean I've tried it a bunch of times but I think this might be the fifth time I try to get into it. I tried it the first time when it came out on PS3. Uh, then I tried it on PS4. I think even the Switch had a port. I tried it on the Switch most recently on Steam. And yeah, I mean, I'll play it for a couple hours or so. And I don't know. I, I think at this point, I'm just too overwhelmed, you know, because the game has existed for... 13 years at this point and there's so much going on the ui is kind of messy um i don't know if it's the most optimal way to play the game by just following the main quest or skipping to the level cap and getting into those more grandiose uh quests or, or, or whatever but anyway um let's start by by making my superhero i i guess i'll i'll just make my avatar guy <laughs> my my da bro as one of my uh, uh, recent commenters, I believe it was Wilhelm, commented that uh, my avatar uh, is very much inspired by the characters in Broforce, so it's it's very fitting, very fitting to call him Da Bro. So we'll make him. Uh, he's athletic build, even though that's not how I am in real life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, medium height, sure, sure. He should be fairly easy to a hero, of course. Uh, he should be fairly easy to make. I mean, it's just kind of like a tank top and, um, some, uh, camouflage cargo pants. Um, I <laughs> always love this pose. What an absolute Chad. Um, yeah, my guy's powerful. <laughs> uh, I always pick Superman. I mean, and my guy doesn't have powers, so, you know, he just uses guns, so I guess it make more sense to make him a tech-oriented hero. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Munitions, hell yeah. Guns, baby. And, uh, I mean, flight is always the best power to choose in DC Universe Online, but... Uh... It's kind of like some Magneto thing here. Uh, we'll do acrobatics. I'd never chosen that traversal power before. By the way, 
I, me using this avatar guy as a way to sort of like you know represent myself on on my youtube videos does that technically make me a vtuber uh skin what are these again oh okay oh you're glowing man has anyone ever told you that you're just glowing right now these are pretty cool Oh, I, by the way, the, the first thing I noticed of this, like, new PS5 port is this new uh, UI for the character creator. I um, I don't know if this is new for the PS5 port or if it's been around for a while, but this is a lot better than the the previous one. I, I always thought the UI for the character creator in the um, that DC Universe had before was kind of messy. Just a little too much going on. I think they tried to sort of incorporate the, the Brainiac uh, sort of motif into the UI. <laughs> These are pretty good. Um, angry, yeah. My avatar is very angry looking, so we'll, we'll go with that. Even though he's a pretty chill guy. Diego Bro is a pretty chill guy. Hair. Um, this is already kind of accurate, but we'll see what else they have. Uh, no mohawk. I don't know if you hear the traffic outside. Sorry if you're getting some of that. Okay, this is a little more. Should I? Uh, no beard. No beard. Um. Yeah, this looks good. We'll go with that. Uh, head, head, what is this for? A mask, I'm assuming? Yeah, no mask. Actually, is there like a bandana, maybe? I need the bandana for sure. So, Daybreak Games, these guys, these guys were actually, um, working on a Marvel MMO, um, not too long ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but there were those, uh, leaked images or, like, concept art of the, uh, character creator. And it had, like, this kind of, like, Pixar-inspired um, art style, which I, I thought, was, you know, was kind of cool. I always love when comic book games have stylized art styles, um, stylized visuals. But it was sadly, uh, it was sadly canceled, which is a shame, because I, I've always been more of a Marvel guy, and, and I think if uh, somebody made just you know, the Marvel equivalent of, of what this game is, I would definitely be into it more. Um, Marvel has had an MMO before, Marvel Heroes, if you guys remember that, but that was more of like a Diablo thing, you know, top-down action RPG, um, where uh, you don't create your own superhero, but, you know, instead you choose from the roster... Uh, which it did have a pretty good roster of uh, Marvel heroes and a bunch of cosmetics, you know, costumes that you can unlock. Um, and that's another one that I kind of regret not uh, spending as much time with it as I should have because, you know, it's sadly been delisted from pretty much everything. It's just been just generally delisted. Uh, so you can't play it anymore. And the, the console port came along pretty late, I want to say. Marvel Heroes Omega, I believe it was called. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why I just can't get into these MMO types. I mean, I want to. I, I love the idea of MMOs, of you know creating your character and going on this long journey where you meet other char you know other players and you you make your guild or whatever uh oh, come on there's got to be a tank top right yeah so where you meet other heroes and you make your guild and you go on raids and you level up you, your, your look changes over time because you know you're getting new gear and all that I mean, it just sounds... Champions Online. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Champions Online. That was another um, superhero MMO based on this uh, tabletop RPG. And I've actually been meaning to make a, a video on that, on that game because that's another one that just sounded like a dream game of mine. Oh, here we go. Uh, actually, do we have more that's like a, a muscle tee? Nah, the tank top will do. 
And my emblem, very easy. Just the letter D. Well, it's actually a D with an R <laughs> in the middle of it for Diego. Originally for just my name, Diego Rivera. But, you know, when I changed my... Uh, when I changed my channel name to Diego Reviews, thankfully it just uh, happened to work out. <laughs> uh, back. Uh, these are capes, I'm assuming. Yeah, no capes. No capes! My guy doesn't wear a cape, but let's see. Do we have... Yeah, there's a backpack. Can I have, like, a gun, maybe? No. Uh, hands. Is my... Yeah, I got fingerless gloves. Actually, these work. Yeah, 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 right. Fingerless gloves. Here we go. Very good, very good. Just got to get all the colors right. Uh, hands, waist. I need a pouchy, a very pouchy belt. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. Uh, legs, just cargoes, baby. Give me some cargoes. Get these tights out of here. Visu business. Cargo! Ah, man, you got like camo. What else do we got? Actually, these work better. Yeah! Alright, what, what else we got? Metalhead. This is actually what, uh, what I just wear all the time in real life. <laughs> uh, alright, paramilitary. These work. All right, now we just gotta change all the colors, make them right. Skin, we can just leave like that. Hair, black hair. Although it's turning more gray nowadays. Eyes, I can't even really see them all that well, so that's good enough. Suit palette. Oh yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, I always forget that DC Universe does this weird thing where um, you can't customize like your individual costume pieces, but you got to choose like a color scheme. That always kind of throws me off. We'll see if I can make it work. So black. Um, okay. I uh, see it's already getting kind of tricky. I guess black again. And then, yeah, this isn't really working all that well. It's not meant to be all black. Okay. Um, wait, I don't have any boots. I need some shoes out here. I can't just give out my feet for free. I need some really, like, knee-high, um, like, space marine kind of uh, boots. Oh, these look pretty... Oh, healed! Oh, <laughs> uh, these were... Okay, these are okay. What else? Actually, paramilitary might be the best. Street... Uh, yeah, so this is kind of more what I'm talking about, but those those crescent kind of tops don't really work. Uh, oh, these are pretty good. We'll go with, um, paramilitary. Alright. So can I not just customize, yeah, my individual costume pieces? This is different. Uh, yeah, why can't I not, <sighs> this is weird. Maybe, maybe once I'm in game, I can customize it a little deeper. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe that's, that's the whole deal. Uh, all right, we got mail, athletic build, hero powerful, Batman tech, munitions, weapon. No, let's change my weapon. Did I not, uh... Marshall, oh, okay, yeah, I almost completely missed this. Oh, that's already looking like the best choice. No. 
No, staff shield. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can make a pretty convincing uh, Captain America. Oh, and it has your emblem on it. That's a pretty cool detail. Uh, dual pistols. That's pretty cool, too. But uh, I'm going to go uh, rifle. Yeah. All right. Yeah, hopefully I can just customize my guy a little deeper. Uh, name. We need a name. As I already expressed. Yeah, bro. Oh, it's not taken. Sick. And we're ready to play. Do I have to play the tutorial? I've played this tutorial so many times. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. Let's skip this. So the, yeah, so the, I'm trying to remember the story. Lex Luthor is from a, a alternate future where Brainiac takes over. So he goes back in time and unleashes uh some sort of nanotechnology that gives everyone superpowers in order to, to, to fight Brainiac's forces. They changed uh, Superman's design. Took away the trunks, those bastards. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I've played this tutorial so many times. <laughs> Alright. Feels a little floaty. You know, the textures do look um, pretty good. Like, there is, there is like, a, a noticeable... Uh, improvement on the visuals. I, I just wish, man, the UI... I mean, I guess that's the nature of uh, MMOs. That the UI is always going to be a little... Uh... Whoa. Frame rate's not great. Can I just shoot these guys? Why do I... Just keep butting them with, with my gun? What if I hold... There we go. <laughs> There we go. I mean, even even if the UI is still very like, you know, overwhelming and and MMO like, uh, the way the the combat is mapped to the controller works well. I can probably clean up the UI too. Like, I can, I can take away the the chat log. Um, and already that would do a lot. But it's it's like once you bring up the inventory menu, I'm sure is when things you know just get kind of cluttered. <laughs> I do wonder if I chose the most uh, interesting uh, like combat style, like build or whatever. You know, like, <laughs> I'm playing a superhero MMO, and I just, I chose a guy that uses guns. <laughs> uh, Alright. I believe, yeah, I can just activate my traversal ability. It makes me skip around. Woo! Okay. Let's go, soups. Whoa! Oh, wow. Did not know I could do that. You will not survive the will Woo! Of oh, that's... Uh, yep, oh, exit her. Is there fall damage? So I believe you can do combos? Like, it, I don't know if I have any of them unlocked, but, you know, actually doing, like, square, square, triangle will uh, result in a different attack, well, which I think it's cool, you know what I mean? Like, do any other MMOs do that? Normally, you just have your, your hot bar down there with all your different abilities on cooldown, and you click on it, and then your character does the thing. 
I don't know if, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Pump action got a shotgun. So, L2 plus square. Oh, I, so there it is. Now I have my, my first ability there on my... On my hot bar. That's pretty cool. Why, why am I not hitting them, though? There you go. Like, you know, like, even for an MMO, it's just... Pulling out a shotgun like that... Already, you know, kind of makes it feel like more action -y, like a more action-y type of game. Doing that simple button combination and, and pulling out a shotgun like that. Come on, soups. You should be able to one-shot this guy. I do wonder, um, like, how much longer this game will persist. Again, I, I mean, I'm I follow the uh, the Twitter account, and um, you know, they seem to be consistently providing updates in the form of cosmetics and new raids or, or whatever you want to call them. I don't know if they are technically raids, but I think they call them episodes actually. Oh my god, is the frame rate just? Oh, that kind of hurt my eyes. Is that Green Lantern? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, so this game seems to be getting up uh, updated pretty frequently. Um, I don't know if, uh, I mean, I don't really follow the MMO scene. Uh, I know uh, Elder Scrolls Online is another uh, MMO that seems to be doing okay. Without frequently, I, I go on YouTube and, and I'll see, you know, a trailer for the latest update. So it's good to see that MMOs are, are still thriving to, to some level. Because, you know, I, I feel that the, the, the live service model um, would have potentially kind of occupied that space um i mean i guess technically you can consider mmos a live service right i mean traditionally you pay a monthly fee although i don't know if uh subscriptions subscription models are still a thing you know if they've been replaced by uh battle passes which i think would be a smart thing to do or, or, you know, or a season pass. Buying a season pass that, you know, lets you uh, level it up and gives you access to, to cosmetics. Um, that sort of thing. You can, you can easily kind of fit an, an MMO into that model, to the season pass model. Uh, which, again, I think this game does. Now, I'm not about to be forking over money for a game that I'm not even sure I'll continue to play. But I don't know. Maybe this will be the maybe this will be the time that I get into a DC universe. I I mean I certainly would love it to be. Every time I mean every time I get into this game or like I try to get into this game, I um I'll just kind of try to play it traditionally for the lack of a better term like i'll just you know i'll start at level one do the tutorial follow the main quests uh you know do do a decent amount of those missions i, I usually get up to like level 20 i want to say you know like i'm following the main storyline fighting the bosses doing a couple of those like um in world like real-time events like those random events you can encounter encounter like bizarro uh, in the open world or uh, you know other villains uh, do some of those do so do some of the optional quests and um, and it's cool it's fun but it kind of I don't know I, it kind of just loses my interest pretty fast I wonder if, if the best way to go about playing DCUO in 2024 is to just skip to the level cap and um 
hey, level 3. Maybe I don't need to skip the level cap. <laughs> But yeah, no, just just going straight to the to the level cap and and doing some of those high level some of those high level quests or raids or or again I don't I don't know what they're called I'm not I don't know the MMO lingo but you know those more grand scale uh, instances because um, just doing this. Doing these missions, I don't know what it is. I I, I want to say that maybe what kind of stops me from playing DC Universe is that I'll eventually hit a quest that feels like it just spikes up in difficulty, and um, and I'll start dying a lot, and it kind of frustrates me. Why am I not activating my traversal ability? There we go. I'm running. I'm running. This is pretty cool. It's kind of cinematic. I wonder if this tutorial has been like updated and you know changed over time. I, I don't think I remember this. Defeat Brainiac. It's over, Brainiac. Oh, Batman's there. And Wonder Woman. Oh, the whole JL is here. Oh, yeah, they definitely updated this. I don't remember Brainiac looking like this. This is cool. Brainiac level 3? What a joke. Oh, I got a new ability. What is this? Are those like Uzis? Double Uzis? Oh, shit, it's a fucking Rambo gun. Nice. Oh god. Oh man, that's not a massive cooldown. Almost there. Oh my god. Oh, I, I forgot I can like block and encounter, I think? Something like that. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not good at these kinds of games at all. Like I don't know what the meta is. The meta human, pun intended. Um I just kinda go for a build that would be kind of amusing for me to play. I'm sure professional DC universe players are cringing right now. I love these models, man. Oh hell yeah! Count me in. Actually, never mind. Yes, yes. Teleporters unlocked. Your pal Oracle's always. Ah, look at that. That's so cool. Just the JL, looking all heroic there. Good, you're here. Ah, rest in peace, Thanks Kevin Conroy. Uh, Let's get out of here. All right, we're done with the tutorial. I believe we're just gonna spawn in uh, Gotham now. Did it work? Alright. <laughs> there we go. Well, man, the colors are really desaturated here. I, I guess that's because we're in Gotham. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's speak with Oracle Bot. Hello, Oracle Bot. Well, so to speak, consider this league friendly safe house a temporary place to repair your gear, check your mail, have a soda cola. Don't wait too long before heading out the door. A lot of soda cola. Are you one of those people, Oracle, that says soda instead of soda? Alright. So let's go patrol the city. Oh yeah, these things. So like yeah, this game this game had collectibles kinda that uh, give you a little bit of info. Isn't such a bum yeah. Job, right? So there is like a lot of things to do in this game. You know, you have your quest, you got collectibles. 
and all that, you know, as as like as you would in a traditional open world superhero game. So I don't know, man. Maybe like I I would really like to just, you know, actually commit myself to DC Universe. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. I like I like his old radioactive scheme he's got going on. I wonder if we'll run into a spawn. Don't forget you have fast movement. It's the easiest way to get across a big city. Try it out. Right. Got it. Activate movement mode. Activate. There we go. Just destroyed a Brainiac harvester ship. Impressive. Let's see if you can handle hero work on <sighs> Kevin Conroy was so good, man. Has escaped from Arkham Asylum and is filling the East End with fear gas. Ready to face your nightmares? Shut them down before they panic the entire city. Oh, I'll shut them down, all right, permanently, with my goddamn shotgun. Defeat screamers. Yeah, I, I think I think this is what might have contributed to me just getting kind of bored. With DC Universe, I remember a lot of the quests, you know, are just, oh, go to this area and defeat ten of these kinds of enemies, five of this other kind of enemy. And, um, you know, I guess it gets a little repetitive. <laughs> Don't hurt me. So I guess we'll see how long it holds my interest this time around. Again, I might play this game for a while and, and you know, just kind of go to the level cap and see if the see if the gameplay loop changes a bit. Alright, so we got everyone there. Let's get out of here. I wonder, can I use, like, a grappling hook in acrobatics mode? Uh, I'm out of here. Can I go up this wall? Yeah! <laughs> you know, this would actually work like so perfect with a spider-man uh character legally distinct spider-man character all right we got our missions tab objectives and the reward and we can hit x to complete our mission all right what was i saying i was kind of hoping that the ps5 port would be a little uh optimized a little better the the frame rate seems to drop a lot what is this a csu mask okay cool whoa what am i am i flying am i gliding there i guess i'm meant to have a cape with this traversal ability i think i'm just using my uh my biceps to sort of um, <laughs> defy gravity. All right, defeat Scarecrow's gang, defeat uh, fear gas foggers, and secure and protect civilians. All right, so we at least have a you know a number of different objectives to do within our quests. Yeah, I gotta check out what my combos are because right now. Just kind of awkwardly swinging my rifle around feels a little, <laughs> a little awkward, a little clunky. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm hallucinating. Shit. Oh, I unlocked a new move. What's my circle move? Let's try it out over here. You, get over here. Whoa, oh, it's like a net gun. Oh, that's awesome. I'm like Predator. <laughs> just fucking pepper him with bullets it's so good yeah man so uh, i don't know i'm a little underwhelmed by this ps5 port of dc universe it just feels kind of kind of choppy i wonder if um i mean it's got to be a lot better on pc I don't remember. I, I played the PC version maybe two years ago or something like that. And I don't remember um, having any issues with frame rate. Maybe maybe I'll get super into this game to the point where I even make a league. 
and I'll 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 share it with you guys if you want to join my league. <laughs> See, so I, I do like this. I like how like story driven these quests are. Don't let the effects of the fear gas. You know, like I, I mean, I, I kind of wish we got more of this for uh, live service games. You know, we've been getting the Suicide Squads and the Marvel's Avengers that have these cookie cutter, generic, boring mission types, and here DC Universe actually has, you know, like missions where like go to this spot. There's good context as to why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, I mean, it always just boils down to, like, you know, beat up these guys, uh, uh, press circle on this thing to, to secure it. Um, but, you know, the fact that you got Batman coming in with new dialogue every time, not not recycled dialogue as you would in a Suicide Squad or Marvel's Avengers, it, it makes it feel like, okay, there's actually an ongoing narrative here, not just, like... Not just a cheap excuse as to why you're doing the same multiplayer style objectives over and over. Um, so yeah, man. Maybe uh, maybe we need to bring MMOs back. Oh yeah, I remember this. So I I, I do like how you have to you know physically carry shit. To a certain point, that again, that's another aspect that makes this game feel kind of like a traditional action game thing. If I remember correctly, you can actually like, you know, if, if your guy has ice powers, you can freeze something in the environment and then physically pick it up and throw it at enemies for for extra damage. That's pretty cool. And again, I'm I'm sure like 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 with any. With any game, this is probably more enjoyable with a group of friends doing these missions together. Not only that, but uh, you'll just be able to complete them a lot easier. No, what is what is this? What did I just unlock? Oh! <laughs> they made rocket jump an ability? That's awesome. Oh, that's so good. Hey, Harvey Bullock! Oh, you can buy stuff off him? Right. Another costumed freak. That's just what Gotham needs. Look, hey man, I'm here to help. Listen, I've got a crime scene here. Now you help or get out of the way. All right, all right. Piss off. Stop speaking over yourself. All right. Oh my god. He's still talking. Rocket jump. Get out of here. Here we have our next victim. So this is kind of cool. Like, this is a different kind of dynamic for this mission. You know, like, there is some... There is some effort in, in like, you know, making missions kind of have their own sort of quirk to them. Standing around, let the victims come to you instead of, like, going around the block and tracking them you got a mission reward box that contains a new weapon all right show me oh here we go mission reward box yeah let's uh let's open it exterminator rifle all right cool i want to equip that sweet i got a new gun and a new belt uh, I don't know what this is. Collection Technologies Vanguard. Cannot sell. Use this item to add it to your collection. Sure. Alright. We got a new thing. We got new gloves. Sick. Infinite Time Capsule. Account. Okay, it's bound to my account. I can't sell it. Booster Gold. Fill this capsule full of capsule. Uh, uh, full of capsules from various times and places within the multiverse. It has the possibility to contain capsules such as uh, and a bunch more. Okay, let's open it. Oh, is this like a loot box? You have... I got another time capsule. Okay, I guess I'll open that one too. 
<laughs> I got a loot box within a loot box. That's great. What? What's happening? Am I supposed to be opening these? Am I doing this right? Okay. Did I get a worse one now? I don't know... I don't know what this is. Okay. I guess I, I'm moving on, I guess. Whoa, a fellow hero! Ares! Good luck out there, my man. Make a difference. <laughs> I guess DC Universe on PS5 is not that active. Which which is a thing, right? I think um, each... Each port has its own server. Like, there's no cross-play, which kind of sucks. You know, like... It would definitely help um, in making this game have, you know, kind of have uh, more of a active player base. Or, 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 you know, have a healthy number of players in, in a server. This whole place is filled with fear gas. Get those leaking barrels out of there and clear the air. Will do, Oracle. You think Batman would approve of my methods? Okay, where are those leaky pipes? Here's one, I think. Man, I had a capsule full of fart juice. There you go. That's one. Yeah, this would certainly help having a, a sidekick, so to speak, to, <laughs> to help me carry these barrels back. Oh, I gotta, I gotta beat up. I gotta break the barrels I brought back here. Gotcha. Neutralize leaking fear gas barrels. Oh, I see. Whoops. That should clear out the gas in this area. Now hurry and find Batwoman before she's lost to Scarecrow's madness. She won't under my watch. More patience. Excellent. Oh, that's a cool Scarecrow model. My god, again, that frame rate. Jesus Christ. What was the point of this PS5 port? Oh shit. Well, I'm not afraid of bullets. That's kind of my thing. Defe oh, Killer Croc hallucinations. Where? Oh, cool. Oh, that Killer Croc design is different. Kind of looks like a looks more like the lizard. Whoa, there's a whole bunch here. So what does this do? What am I doing here? Am I just... Okay. Oh, what's this new gun? It looks like a grenade launcher. How is it functioning like a machine gun? <laughs> oh, bat family hallucinations. What is that? Is that a little robin? <laughs> oh shit! Nightwing! Oh, that's a cool Nightwing model. Who's that? Maybe, can I? Maybe I can, uh, oh, another, let me, uh, hold on, give me a second, Batwoman. Let me just do this thing real quick. There we go. 
adverse reactions to specific stimuli can eventually be Oh, did I explode the barrel? That's pretty cool. I don't know you could do that in MMOs. <laughs> Oh, is this just Scarecrow himself now? Seriously? Oh, shit. You're going back to Arkham. Alright, so that was a cool little dungeon, right? Look at that. You get a cool Jim Lee drawn motion comic here. Oh, that's sick. So I think that's pretty cool, you know, with your following your main quest, you, you'll do a dungeon and you'll be rewarded with a little motion comic in the end, tying that, uh, you know, mission quest line. I mean, that I, I, I dig that. Again, I don't know why I just can't get into this uh, MMO. It might just be the combat. But, you know, hopefully the more I level up, uh, it gets uh, a little more interesting. Maybe if I find other players out there that want to get into dc universe along with me because again i mean that that that's sort of the tricky thing with uh you know trying to uh get into an mmo that's been around for a while because you, you know you, you can i guess you can team up with a veteran that's been playing this game for years and they kind of just kind of fast track everything uh your way i don't know if that'd be like the way i want to experience a game i kind of just want to go on the journey of starting from level one doing the main quest campaign and slowly getting introduced to the other elements of like you know bigger raids and all that stuff instead of just like boom jumping straight to the end where i have the best uh equipment you know the meta build and all that um yeah i guess we'll see how dc universe online on ps5 turns out Special thanks to Sam, Carlos Fontes, and Punk Samurai1985 for subscribing at the top tier. You guys are certified superheroes.